How to Repair Loose or Sunken Electrical Outlets by Electrical101.com As you can see, the front of this receptacle is not even with the front of the cover. This indicates the receptacle tabs are not resting on the front of the wall. During construction, when a wall is mounted over an electrical device, like a switch or a receptacle, an opening in the wall is made to expose the device. This opening should allow the tabs of the device to rest on the surface of the wall. And I'll show you in just a minute when I take the cover off. As you can see, the top and bottom tabs on the switch rest on the surface of the wall. Sometimes the opening in the wall is too big and one or both of the device tabs are either floating or in this case resting against the electrical box. This can cause the cover to crack which is what happened here. The way to correct this problem is to add electrical spacers to the device. These spacers can be adjusted to the distance between the front of the electrical box and the front of the wall. They can be folded together. There's three spacers. There's four spacers and so on. Since the front of this box is very close to the wall, inserting one spacer should do the job. Now before I remove this receptacle, I need to turn off power and after turning off power, I need to make sure power is off, which it is. You don't need to remove any wiring to install the spacers. You just install them on the screw behind the receptacle. There we go. Once the spacers are installed, then we can uh, remount the receptacle back into the electrical box. To determine how many spacers are needed for each tab on the device, you measure the distance between the front of the electrical box and the front of the wall. And whatever distance that is, you can put your spacers together to match that distance. Once you've mounted the spacers and checked uh, that the depth is correct, you can make adjustments. So if it's sticking out too far or if it's still sunken in, you can add or remove a spacer as needed. Since the cover was cracked, I'm going to go ahead and install a new cover. There we go. Once you're finished, don't forget to turn power back on. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit electrical101.com.